in the shadows of the Golden Dome. It's Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me call this one is Kirk Herbstreet. And Aaron Andrews also joins us on the sidelines. Today's exciting game is presented by our friends at Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We've got the Michigan State Spartans and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. Defense has it. It's one of the corners for the 20, for the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. They try to run it inside and hammer down. Baker. Comes away with two yards on the carry. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Baker sweeps left. Four yards there on the toss. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. On situation. It's up. And it sails through the uprights. He sails it long. Picked off. It's the quarterback. This quarterback better start making better decisions. He's looking for six. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. The for a big play. Cousins. Back to pass. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. He was a sitting duck on that play. And believe me, these defensive players love a sitting duck. And that'll be three and out. And it's caught across midfield. Down the sideline. And they tackle him at the 24-yard line. They're calling an audible. He throws it. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Every time he throws the ball in this guy's direction, something big seems to happen. I don't think you can find a quarterback in the country who wouldn't want a guy like this on his side. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 81-yard. Now he's scrambling. Caught with room to work. At the 40, inside the 30, the 10, and he scores. Touchdown. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. Two-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Throws into double coverage, and it's intercepted. And he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. Cousins drops back. Runs with it, and he's got room. It's a fumble. And the ball-hawking safety scoops it up. He stripped the ball right out of his hand. Well, he had better leverage there, and he just yanked the ball out. He heaves it to the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Really nice cover scoop. Cousins drops to throw. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. Fourth down. Hot, hot, hot. 
And he might want it all here and does. And he's got it. Touchdown. And for Floyd, he takes his receiving yardage total to 100. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 47-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Notre Dame, 28. Michigan State, 10. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. And for Floyd, he earns player of the game recognition for helping his team to a victory. For Michigan State, they pick up their first loss of the season. And for Notre Dame, this win puts them at 2-1, and, and they'll try to gain momentum early in the season.